Hello and welcome to 10 Minute Mastery. This 10 Minute Mastery will cover completing business transactions impacting the accounting equation. This is Watch and Learn Part 1. By the end of this 10 minute mastery, you will be able to demonstrate how various business transactions impact the accounting equation. Below is an expanded accounting equation. You can see here, although it is expanded, assets on the left still equal liabilities plus owner's equity on the right. The left side equals the right side. Here in this expanded form, you'll just see the accounts listed under assets. For example, you'll see cash and supplies and prepaid insurance. And then you'll see the liabilities accounts, accounts payable under the liabilities, and then some owner's equity accounts. So this is what the expanded accounting equation looks like. It's still the same. Assets will still equal liabilities plus owner's equity. Here are some things to keep in mind. Every business transaction will always impact at least two accounts. So when you have a business transaction, it is not possible for that transaction to impact only one account. So every transaction impacts at least two accounts. And we'll see this in action in a few moments. Two, the two sides of the accounting equation are always equal after you record each business transaction. And we'll see how this works on the next few slides, but you will always remain in balance, always. Also know this, owner's equity is increased by amounts invested by the owner. It is decreased by withdrawals by the owner, we call that drawing, and it is increased by revenues and decreased by expenses. And you can see that above, in the expanded accounting equation. Let's see what this looks like in action. So this is a watch and learn. This first example involves the following transaction. For our business, we received cash from owner as an investment in the amount of $5,000. Now, what does this look like? This transaction impacts cash and capital. This transaction impacts two accounts, cash and capital. And you can see here, I have recorded this transaction on this line. The row up above it is the beginning balances. And we've started out this problem with zero balances for all accounts. And then we're recording this transaction. We're gonna increase cash by 5,000. We're also increasing capital by 5,000. And then here on this next row, we're gonna bring down the balances. The balance of cash is now 5,000. We have zero balance in supplies, zero in prepaid insurance, zero in accounts payable, $5,000 balance in capital, and the remaining accounts over here are all a zero balance. Now, as you can see, assets, equals liabilities plus owner's equity. After we have recorded this business transaction, the accounting equation has remained in balance. Each side equals 5,000. 
Let's do another one. Transaction two, pay to cash for supplies in the amount of $175. So I'm here on this next row and I'm going to enter this transaction, paid cash for supplies. This transaction impacts two accounts, cash and supplies, because every transaction impacts at least two accounts. So this one we're going to impact the cash and the supplies. Cash, is going to decrease by 175 and supplies will increase by 175. Now that we have this transaction reported on this row here, we're going to do the new balance. So from this balance, we're going to subtract 175 and we have a new balance of 4,825. Supplies is now 175 because 175 plus zero is 175. And then we bring down the remaining balances. This one stays the same, notice. And then here's what we have. We still have each side of the equation, left side equals right side in balance. They still equal 5,000 because 4,825 plus 175 is 5,000. And then on this side of the equation, when we add all of this up, we've still got 5,000. You can see here, only one side of the equation was impacted. That's okay, because we have a plus and a minus right here on the same side. And you can see this transaction properly recorded will keep us in balance. Let's add to this. Transaction three, we have bought supplies on account from Ocean's Supplies in the amount of $240. Bought supplies on account, I recorded it on this row. This transaction impacts two accounts, supplies, and accounts payable, Ocean's supplies. We have recorded the increase of $240 here on the left side of the accounting equation. And on the right side of the accounting equation, we have recorded an increase of $240. Now we already know we have increased both sides by the same amount. So this is going to keep this accounting equation in balance. When we bring down the new balances, we now have 5,240 equals 5,240. You can see that we are staying in balance. Here we have added one more transaction. Let's review the transaction. Paid cash for rent expense in the amount of $1,900. I have entered this transaction on this row. We paid cash for rent expense. We're going to decrease our cash for $1,900 And rent expense, we're going to decrease for 1,900. Those are the two accounts impacted by this transaction, cash and rent expense. On the next row, we bring down the new balance. The new balance here is 2,925. How did I get that? I went up here to this balance, 4,825 subtract 1,900, and that's my new balance. I brought down 415, zero, the equal sign, 240, 5,000, 
zero, zero. 1,900 is negative here. And after I bring down all the new balances, you can see it's still balanced on each side. Each side is now equal to $3,340. Thank you for viewing. Don't forget to subscribe and leave any comments you wish to make below. Also, if you would give me a like, that would be appreciated.